Hello again, it's Sam with Blind Shell. In today's video, we're going to take a look at object tagging using the Blind Shell Classic mobile phone. When you purchase your Blind Shell Classic accessible mobile phone, you get a sheet of QR code stickers in the box. And you can use these QR code stickers to label objects and then assign audio tags to those stickers, to those labels. So I'm gonna show you how that works today. I have one of those stickers on another phone here, but let's talk about how it works. So we need to go to the object tagging application. Call one of nine. And that's in more apps. So I'm going to scroll to the right. Messages, to contacts, more applications, four of nine. More applications, I'm gonna click okay. Tools, one of five. And the object tagging app is in the vision aids section, which is the last item in the more applications list. So instead of scrolling to the right all the way through everything else, I'm just gonna quickly scroll to the left, click to the left on the directional pad. Vision aids five of five. And that's a quick way to jump to the end of the list. I'm gonna click okay. Color indicator one of four. Four items in this section, but we're looking for the object tagging. Localization, two of object tagging, three of four. There it is. I'm gonna click OK. Read tags, one of three. In object tagging's main menu, we have three options. The first one is to read a tag. Add tag, two of three. Second one is to add a new tag. List tags, three of three. And the final item is your tags list. This is where all your tags will be located, all the ones you've pre-programmed into the phone. Read tags, one of three. If we had a tag already programmed and we wanted to read it, that's what we would choose, read tag. But like I said, we need to add a new one, so we're gonna go to add tag. Add tag, two of three. And I'm gonna click OK. Now we get this steady clicking noise that indicates that our camera is has been launched and it's waiting for us to take a picture. And in this case, we're going to be scanning a tag. So I just need to try and line this up. Uh, visually, I can see the tag on the screen. If I am not able to see the screen, then I just want to try and line it up with the camera on the back. A good way to do that is to set it flat, feel where the camera is, and I want to try and line that up with the tag. Once I feel it on the tag, I just want to lift up a little bit. Record object description, one of two. Once it saw the tag, it recognized it and it scanned it. So now we have two options. Number one is to type. Type object description, two of two type the object description, so to type it out using the keypad, but most people would prefer to record the item description, so that's why it automatically jumps to that one. Record object description, one of two. And it pronounces it record, but it's record. <laughs> so I'm just gonna click this and the microphone will kick on and I just need to describe what I just, what the item is. Record a short description now. This is another classic phone. So we got a little <laughs> Okay. So we got a little audio cue letting us know when to record, when to um, speak the description. And you'll notice that you only get a few seconds of record time. So you want to be quick, you want to make sure you know what you're going to say and say it very quickly. So now it automatically jumps back to the camera in case we want to scan another item, but I'm going to hit back. Add tag, two of three. I can either read, tags, one of three. read this tag, scan it, or let's see if it shows up in the list now. Add tag, two list tags, three of three. Click OK on list tags. Recorded description one, one of one. This is another classic phone. Okay, so I want to read this tag. I want to scan it just to make sure it's working and everything is good to go. So I go to read tags and I'm going to click OK. And there's the clicking, letting us know that the camera is working. So all I do now is try and line up the tag. This is another classic phone. And it got it. So I also want to point out that it doesn't matter which way the tag is facing. So now I flipped it upside down and I'm going to try and scan it. This is another classic phone. There we go. 
Now, as I said, these tags are reusable. So if I wanted to, so if I wanted to use this particular tag on another item, all I do is go into the tag list. Add tag, list tags, three of three. Recorded description one, one of one. This is another classic phone. And here's the one that I want to delete. So I'm gonna click okay. Edit description, one of two. I could edit the description of this. Tag, two of two. Or I could delete it completely, and that's what I want to do in this case. So I'm going to click OK. Really delete this tag. It asks you a little warning. Are you sure you want to delete it? I'm going to click OK again. No item. List tags, three of three. Now, what happens if you try to scan a tag that, if you try to read a tag that is not in your database? Let's try that. List tags, read tags, one of three. This tag is not used yet. There you go. It tells you that tag has not been used yet. So there you go, guys. That is a quick look at the object tagging feature in your Blindshell Classic mobile phone. You can imagine how useful this could be. You could have all of your medications labeled. You could have your spices in the cabinet labeled. Clothing, shoes, toiletries, cleaning products. Lots of different applications where this could be very helpful. If you would like to learn more about your Blindshell Classic phone, be sure to head over to our YouTube channel and watch some of our other tutorials.